All right, guys. Good morning, everybody. We uh, actually got the got the dump trailer back here for a change. I know you can't see it, but uh, we're gonna haul some uh, more chert out of Phil and Joanne's up here, and we're actually going to haul it to the mill for Joanne. But uh, we're getting ready to cross uh, our repaired cattle gate, so uh, I guess we better hope those hold. Let's find out. guys finally got set up here and finally got recording <laughs> you're gonna find this hard to believe but uh got, got sidetracked no longer way coming in i guess that's only fair enough we are at his house but anyways uh just a couple things real quick one i don't know if you guys have seen my little dump trailer yet it's real 20 well 22 foot aluminum dump I've had this thing for probably 10 or 12 years, and I used to use the crap out of this thing. I mean, I used it a bunch. Um, and then I, because all I had was a single axle dump truck. I had single axle dump trucks and this trailer. And then I guess about a year and a half ago, about, yeah, about a year and a half ago, I guess, I um, bought that um, um, little tandem axle truck. And that kind of relieves some of the pressure or the usage on uh, the dump trailer. Actually, I think this is the first time I've used it like in six months. I was trying to think when the last time I used it was, and uh, it was back in December. Uh, I hauled some rock into the house out of the quarry. So it's been a while, but man, I don't, I think, I think I paid like 1800 bucks for this trailer out of damn near a scrap yard. Uh, the guy was gonna basically sell it for scrap. I had to do a little bit of framework to it, and uh, I mean, I, nothing real major. Just kind of fixed it up a little bit, welded up some cracks, and replaced some cross members in it. And uh, boy, she's she's more than paid for herself. She's paid for herself several times. I don't use it as much as what I used to, but uh, insurance and plates on it don't hardly really cost anything, so. I um I keep it around it definitely definitely comes in handy so I'll get some videos of her dumping and maybe going down the road a few other things but uh, we uh, I don't know which order these videos are gonna come out in I know a couple of you guys have seen uh, longer ways videos I built a big park a lot we hauled about 500 tons of chert out of here and I wasn't up here when it happened or I would have got video of it, but I guess the, uh, I was on the other end, Matt was up here loading. But I guess the, uh, we're thinking it was the last truck, we were hauling with quad axles. And he fell through the, uh, he fell through the cattle gate down there by Wade's house. <laughs> we still don't know if he was uh, lucky to make it across or just, uh, I don't want to say stupid because that's a mean word, but if he knew the gate was broken and he drove across it, that wasn't the smartest move. If he didn't know the gate was broken and he drove across it anyways, well, I'm glad he made it. So, But uh, Joanne's sending her triaxle up here this morning. We're going to load it too. I guess me and that truck are going to run together this morning. And Wade's tested out the cattle. Wade's tested out the repair with the... Uh, with Whitey and I've hauled a tandem axle load across it a time or two, but uh, we're gonna give her a pretty good 80,000 test. Well, if Hoover's watching, we're gonna give it a 77, eight test uh, this morning and see uh, see if she holds up. I'm not too worried about them two three quarter plates and you know, uh, no farther than what they're standing. I'm sure they're gonna flex a little bit, but I don't think we'll have any any problem getting it across there so this church I know you guys have heard me talk about it a couple times here and there and now but Phil Phil is the uh, Phil is the expert on this stuff he's been working with this stuff for 
years. I, it's hard telling how many thousands of tons um, have been hauled off this hill. But the reason why they don't dig it and put it in a great big stockpile where you just come in here and load it with a loader, it's kind of hard. It's not like extremely difficult, but it's packed in the ground here pretty good. You gotta have something with teeth on it to uh, rip it up. I'll dig me a notch here and then I can come back with my larger bucket and load it some. But if you dig it straight out of the ground like we're doing here now, the moisture content in it is perfect. And as far as getting this stuff to pack, where you need it to it is um, it's all about the moisture so if you dig it straight out of the ground haul it to where you're going and then put it down almost immediately and get it rolled or tracked in it works it works excellent if you haul it to where you're going and stockpile it and then try to use it at a later date one of two things that's going to happen, it's going to get so dried out, it will not pack. It, it's just, and then the first time it rains, it's, uh, it's just a mess. Or, the other scenario is, is it'll sit there in a pile, and if it sits there in a pile, it just, it just soaks up water. And it's like, it's crazy how something so good can turn into just basically straight up mud. I mean, it is just nasty. So the whole the whole trick is what in the world is that? Stick in there, I don't know where that came from. So the whole the whole trick to making this stuff work is haul it out, dig it out of the hill, just like we're doing here now. Haul it to where you're going, and then get it placed. I'm, Phil's waiting on us on the other end. I guess they got, I guess Wade and them got a hole out there in their log yard. That's what their whole log yard is. And the log yard is uh, low right now, so they're kind of running on places of the yard they normally don't run on. It's usually just where uh, logs are stockpiled. So they're trying to take advantage of this uh, situation with the low yard to um, get, I don't know, it's one or two holes. I think we're going to haul. Uh, six or eight loads out there which two trucks that's basically three or four rounds a piece so it should be a pretty easy day if everything goes as planned but i don't know how much video i need to get on the other end uh phil's uh phil's in a hurry to get her done which i don't i don't blame him trying to catch a little bit of a window here while the log yard is low and they're kind of rained out in the woods and uh Supposed to, the weather's supposed to break here towards the end of the week, and I'm sure they're going to be hitting it pretty hard back in the woods. So, but yeah, that's uh, kind of the gist of what's going on. I guess the first uh, first obstacle we got to cross is the uh, cattle gate. Hopefully, uh, hopefully, don't have any issues there. Joanne's truck's supposed to be here shortly. We'll get uh, get it loaded. I got the. Uh, it's a beautiful day fog's kind of lifting I got the drone here while I'm uh, waiting on the other truck I may put the drone in the air and see if we can get uh, get an aerial shot of this place maybe I can show you how close me and Wade live together all right guys if you look close there it's kind of hard to see my house that's actually the back side of my house and it's green so it kind of blends in but uh, I'll point it out right there and we're going to swing around a 180 and uh, you guys will see boom right there red roof is the one the only the youtube famous logger wade's place so we'll take off flying to the south here uh this road back through here i guess it's technically a county road but it's pretty much just a private road back through the back through the property here it pretty much dead ends at phil and joanne's house so Phil and Joanne, Wade's mom and dad, is the little house off to your left here. And then uh, we'll keep on flying to the south. And you'll see uh, see the equipment in the truck there sitting at the chirp pit. There is one more house. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. I'll point it out up there a little bit far. That's actually just a rental property that uh, Phil and Joanne have. They uh, use it as a vacation rental. So there you have it. <laughs> All right. So 
At this point, I've done uh, flown down the driveway and back, and uh, Joanne's truck still isn't here, so Wade's working down over the hill here, so I figured I'd just uh, keep on flying over the hill and uh, go down and see what old logger Wade's up to. Whenever I get down here, I was like, I can't see him. They're down over the hill, which probably ain't the smartest way to fly a drone, and I kept losing the signal on the drone, so my video feed wasn't the best, but... Uh, Anyways, I was trying to get in there and bug him and torment him, and hopefully I wasn't going to get shot out of the sky, because if you watch Logger Wade, he tends to shoot stuff occasionally. And I'm like, why can't they see me? I know I'm close enough. Well, then I finally figured out they had the welder running, and they had no idea the bumblebee was up here. So, yep, anyways, basically, uh, long story short, all I'm doing is uh, killing time. This is, I think, where I lost uh, signal. Oh, yeah, I got it back. We're taking off again, so... They have no idea. I can't remember the guy that's helping Wade here. He's a, he's like a pretty good guy, but they're, uh, I guess it's a pretty important project. They're putting gates up for uh, Big Mama on the barn here to make sure the uh, cows don't get into the equipment. But I think as I pan on around here, that's actually Wade's helper there. As I pan on around, you'll see that uh, Wade's over there welding, so that's why they didn't see me. But yep, yeah, I was just, uh, like I said, I was waiting on the truck to load. <laughs> didn't have nothing better to do, so. I figured I'd just fly over the hill and spy on them a little bit. I had no idea I was watching. I should have called Wade, started telling him to get him to work or tell him he's welding wrong and he'd be all kinds of worked up, but oh well. <laughs> it was fun. It uh, made my time go by fast, so. But this is about the time I believe the uh, drone's like uh, a little battery warning, so. I uh, flew on out of there and then my truck showed up and we finally got her loaded and headed out. Well, there's the plates. There's the repair job. Wade said he bent, bent one with Whitey, but they look pretty darn straight to me. So, I don't know. We'll get in there and come across there. We'll uh, see how they hold. Well, didn't feel too bad from in the truck. I don't know what it uh, looked like from out here, but uh... hey, main thing is we're to the other side. So uh, it's hammer down time. Let's head to the mill. All right, guys, this is, uh, we made it up to Derby. We're at St. Croix now. This is uh, round one coming into the mill. I didn't get a lot of video of the uh, driving back and forth. I think we ended up hauling four rounds. And uh, as you see here, I tried to just get a different angle of coming into the mill each time and get a different angle of dumping. So this is round one here coming in. Not really 100% sure what we're up to. Whoop, watch out, guys. Got a couple guys right across the road there. I don't know where they came from. But basically, the log yard is empty now. I'm sure you guys heard Wade talk about that. And they got a few soft spots here. So we're going to pull up here as uh, Phil and the loader are going to pull up here and... Uh, get dumped and start cycling around that's uh that's the plan so
All right, guys, we made it back to the chair pit here. And as you can see from all the water standing down there, we had a tremendous amount of rain uh, Sunday. This is loading out on Monday here. So uh, we had to be a little bit careful, a little bit cautious about uh, not getting ourselves stuck and in a bad situation. But this chart right here where we're loading, you guys follow me on Facebook or Instagram. You'll see where I posted it has a big, uh, big vein of uh, like sand, mud, and clay in there. So I had to sort it through it just a little bit and make sure we were sending, uh, sending good stuff out there. But got myself loaded and uh, get Joanne's truck back in there and loaded. I think real time it took me about seven minutes to load a truck. So, um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. I'd get myself loaded and then get him loaded and then I'd pass him on the way there and be back and be loaded again before he, he got back. So it, it worked out pretty good. But, uh, yep, loaded up, getting ready to head out here. It uh, it all went pretty smooth. Like I said, just had to sort through. And just uh, cleaning off the top there, making an Officer Hoover happy. But uh, round two, heading to the mill here, uh, pulling in and uh, getting ready to dump here. So I'll let you guys watch that. back to filling Joanne's load round three and yeah this is where I figure out I am not a goat and of course stubborn me is like oh I can make it nope not gonna make it work <laughs> oh so, uh, yeah you never know until you try right that hill I don't know how tall it is it's probably a bit of 20 something feet so I gave up so I'd go around and uh, get myself loaded
Well, it's not graceful, but uh, I couldn't make it up the hill. By golly, I can slide down the hill. So, got that much going for me. But anyways, this next round here, uh, heading into the mill, we actually, uh, me and Phil had a lengthy discussion about the weight of these trucks. So, uh, we pulled up on the scales here. He was like 500 pounds under. I was like 700 pounds under, but I was a little bit heavy on the truck and a little bit light on the trailer. So, uh, it was good information able to uh, adjust and make sure we had everything uh, right for the next go around so let's get her dumped off All right, guys. This is uh, this is loading out load four. I actually stuck the uh, GoPro on the uh, side of the uh, track of the uh, track hoe, so thought it's kind of a cool view, just kind of coming and going. But I actually got some good video of the uh, truck leaving up here this time around, <laughs> and uh, I uh, I lost my GoPro. The luckily, longer way it was uh, working there at the house. I ended up texting him, and he uh, went back and looked for it. I was pretty confident i ran it over but uh he found it it was still in good shape it survived so that was a 400 dollars mistake uh, 400 dollars mistake avoided so that gives you a pretty good idea of how tall that truck is i mean my truck is what i'd consider a normal size truck and then this thing backs in here and it's like a freaking giant i'm pretty sure you put 60 ton on this thing if you wanted to but we obviously didn't but uh Let's roll on out of here.
All right, guys, this was uh, round four, our final round of dumping here. I don't know what the deal was. My dang uh, tailgate stuck on me this time around, but uh, never had that happen before. But anyways, we got her. We got her pop loose. You'll see here in a second, and we got her dumped out. All right, guys, there she is at the end of the day. I think we end up hauling uh, 10 loads. Phil's over there on the loader. He's uh, running her in. She's packing in, packing in pretty nice. So we get ready to dump the, uh, dump the last load off here. I'm gonna dump the last load off and I'm gonna try to do the impossible and uh, do something nice and make the wife happy. I'm sure I'll... Uh, I'll screw this up one way or another, but I'm gonna do my best. She's been wanting some uh, black mulch for the house, so I'm gonna back haul some black mulch home and see if we can make her happy.
something for you. Did you bring me malt? Huh? Who's the best husband ever? Okay, you're gonna be the best husband ever if you get that little doodad thingy down here and put it where it needs to go. What doodad? Is that a technical term? Yep. That is. Are you really we gave Bobo back. Yes, he's really filming. We gave Bobo back. Say hi, everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, let me do. Is this on? I can't see. Oh, the red light's on. I think it's going. Watch out, Gunny. <laughs> There's Levi posing in front of the vault. There it goes. I think so. Is that going to be enough? Huh? Is that going to be enough? <laughs> Why didn't you fill out that note? Because it costs money. Hmm. Aren't you made of money? No. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I got to back to work. Daddy, back to work. Go back to work. No. Hey, whenever I get home, I want all that Mom, spread out. Uncle Mike. I posed in front of it while I dumped to make it Yeah, <laughs> yeah they were posing. Yeah. It's a circus down there at the house. But uh, I'm sure I messed this up somehow. I'm sure it's the wrong color. It's dumped in the wrong spot. It's got one too many rocks in it. I don't know. At least I tried, right? I tried to make her happy. That's all I can do. So catch you guys on the next one.